Three students are in trouble with the law tonight after officials say they were caught with a pellet gun on a school bus. Fox 10 News has learned a ninth grade student brought a pellet gun onto a school bus this morning and fired shots before passing the gun to other students who also discharged the weapon. Fox 10's Candace Murphy has been digging deeper into the story and joins us live from outside the Strickland Youth Center where the suspects were taken. Candace, what did you find out? Bob and Lenise, I'm told three students were arrested and brought here today after school officials say they filed a, fired a pellet gun inside a school bus just after it had arrived at the Continuous Learning Center. Now, it happened around 7 this morning when five students on the bus were about to get off and head into school. This morning, a ninth grade student boarded his school bus just like every other day. Except today, officials say he brought a pellet gun in his backpack. One of the kids took it out and was discharging it, firing it, and gave it to two other kids, and they also did. Nancy Pierce with the Mobile County Public School System says a bus aide was standing outside waiting for students to get off when she noticed something terribly wrong. The ninth grader, eighth grader, um, ended up pointing the gun at the bus aid. And so she immediately got on her phone and said, this is not right, something's wrong. And so that's when people came out and took care of it. These signs posted outside the school show that it's a violation of federal law to have a gun inside a school zone. And you could face up to a $500 fine or five years in federal prison. We're still waiting for police to tell us what charges the students are facing, but we do know all three students have been arrested and suspended. If parents can check book bags in the morning, uh, make sure they walk out without having anything in there that doesn't belong. Now, if you're not familiar with the Continuous Learning Center, it's an alternative school here in Mobile. Now, we're told no one was injured in this incident. Reporting live from Mobile, I'm Candace Murphy, Fox 10 News. Well, meanwhile, a man is on trial for murder.